that's a bit too high. Go like there. How's that? Does that look good? That looks good to me. Ugh. I really need to pee, but I think I'll survive. I'll ignore it. My arms hurt still. Um, actually, I should check to see that the switch still actually works. Oh, it does. Okay, well, that was easy to check. Oof. The temptation there to go pee. Maybe I'll just. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll just do this. And go pee. One moment. I return for my pee-pee. Oh. BR button. BRB button. You worked the second time. You know what? I'll allow it. It's kind of... Well, it's, it's an adequate volume of... Uh, music. I'll allow it. 
Like I I have no real idea as to what I'm getting into with this game. Uh, but it looks like Pokemon. So it should be good. And the title is very misleading. I just fancied a, a, a click, clickbaity-esque title. So not actually doing a Nuzlocke. Don't be fooled, you stupid bitch. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna play the game. And hopefully, hopefully we get through the tutorial in like four hours. Hopefully there's, you know, we get to actually do shit. Because I know these games have long ass tutorials. Although in recent Pokemon games, they, well, okay. I guess in recent Pokemon games, they've let you skip it. They've been self-aware and gone. Most of the people that play this are like fucking 30 year old losers. Uh, they already know what they're doing. Let them skip the tutorial. But then, because this game is so different, they may not let you do that. I don't know. I don't even know what the starters are. I know... Os Osawat is one of the starters. And that's it. I th that's the only one I know. So, hopefully... Hopefully Tartwig's there. Uh, and like a Charmander. I assume they're gonna stick... Keep with water, grass, fire. Given that there is one water. Uh, we'll see. If this game's like Monster Hunter, which is my suspicion, uh, then that's cool. I'll enjoy it still, probably. Although, my Switch is barely hanging on these days, so... I don't know how much of this game I'm going to actually get to play. Outside of streaming it. Full playthrough? Maybe. You guys are on this screen as well, so the eye contact is is very far apart because we're using Switch, which goes onto this screen. You guys know what it's like. We've done it before. It, it occurred during the entirety of the Nuzlocke. It is very warm in this room, and I smell that. There's my little confession there. I looked up uh, because I didn't want to play any more of it. Uh, it did seem like a fun game. Uh, Pain's Killing, Pain's Creek, Killings. I looked up the like solution and what actually happened. Interesting stuff. Would have been fun to uh, piece it all together myself, but um, I wasn't about to do that. We found most of the char or figured out most of the characters at least. And the next thing we had to do was just start piecing everybody together and what happened. We find some little uh, little secrets unknowingly, like that extra grave that was in the graveyard, the unmarked one. Put a big, put a big detail behind that. Let me, let me tell you, revelation, not detail. Uh, but I'm glad I didn't, I didn't have the time to put into it. It's no paradise killer. I need character to keep me investigating. But, I hope some people play it. They're coming out with a new game as well, so I guess they probably did all right. Let's, uh, uh, well, I guess I was gonna say let's go through Steam while I sit here and wait. But Steam has that, like, lunar sale going on, so. It's, it's sales based. Holy shit, this game. There's a lot of viewers, quarter of a million people watching this right now. What is this? Shannon sent me a video. That was a bit harsh. I called her a disappointment. Um, I don't mean that. I'm just jealous that she's drunk. I want to be drunk. Uh, let's get into it. Let's play some uh, some Arceus. Let's see. Is this gonna work? I tested it and it worked. Yeah, there we go. Um, I can't hear it. Can I? 
No. How? How do I hear it? Okay. I hear a slight bit of static from it. But at least I hear it now. English, please. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't be don't be a naughty boy when it's saving. I get you. I get you. I think there's new types of Pokémon. I don't think there's any new Pokémon, but there's like isn't there region variants or something? Uh, so that's kind of exciting. The only one, the only two I actually know are Growlithe and Voltorb. And I'm curious about the Voltorb one because it's like old fashioned Voltorb. Will that be put in future games? I don't know. Well, are you able to transfer Pokemon from this into Pokemon Home? Not that I use Pokemon Home, but that's how you transfer them between games, isn't it? Welcome to my realm. Located beyond both time and space. Am I talking to God? Looks like a butthole. Uh, it is well that thou art here. I hear the slightest amount of static. Why? What is this playing? One moment. Okay, strange. I wonder if you guys can hear double. I'll do that this. Yeah, I don't know what, what sound um, the desktop's making, but hopefully it's nothing weird for you guys. Ugh. It looks like a butthole. Also, that, look at that pro placement of, of the sub uh, notification, like perfectly above the webcam. That was unintentional, but I like it. And thank you for the 15 months. Look at our child. See, this this harkens back to the conversation I had, but I don't want to explain it. But like, this little guy isn't gonna remember anything I do to him, you know? He's hard to bite through. I'd say it's harder to bite through this thing than an actual baby skull. Anyway. I am that which humans call Arceus. Arceus? Arceus. Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. White. What is thy name? It is Michael. I'm not gonna lie to God. Yes! Michael. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. I'm already kind of in a weird world. Uh, a world inhabited by wondrous creatures that human call Pokemon. Michael. Do you hear a slight bit of static, Ben? Because I do. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't know where it's coming from. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Do you have to capture every Pokemon to find him? Damn, dude, fucking setting us a big ass task. Gotta catch them all. Hey, look, it's like the end of Payne's Creek Killings. Don't hear any static? Good. This is what happens when you fall into the void in Minecraft. What are you doing with my phone? Don't fucking look at my nudes. 
That's chi child pornography, all right? You fuck. I don't care if you're God. God can be a pedophile. God probably is a pedophile, to be honest. Alright, that made no sense. Wake up. Do wake up, won't you? Cyndaquil. Are you alive, my boy? My boy! Rarelit or Ocelot? What the f- Look at this fucker. This guy's wearing underwear on his head. I think I'm gonna go Cyndaquil. What the shit's going on over there? You gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow aidle your memory? That's a spell in Final Fantasy. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have acquaintances in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. I'm Pickle Rick! Might I offer some directions? Do you have it somewhere around here you could stay? Nope. Is that his hair or just a weird ass hat? Uh, so you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. I like the alliteration of proper pickle. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Yeah, somehow. This guy looks modern as well. Look at his coat. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. Foom. Plish plash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do, you stupid son of a bitch, you fucking idiot. It's those things. It's like asking someone do they know what animals are. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems you would have some common ground. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Give me all three of them. Oh yes, and what might your name be? It's a big game. Oh, so you're called Michael. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it ha must have some lovely meaning. I can't remember, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor myself. Spider-Man. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three. Oh, blast. Oh, blast in bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. I can't figure out a voice for this guy. I can't, I can't figure out his look. Can I go into building and stealth kill someone? This looks pretty good, I'm gonna be honest. That looks cool, but I assume that's something for later. What's this? Oh, is it my cell phone? It's a super phone. There's a glowing beeping object over there.
You find something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shapes. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this Arc Phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. How many Pokemon are in this game? Text message from God? You don't get those? Whoa, look at that. Put a few extras, okay. Good. I don't want to have to capture like a thousand Pokemon. Save is interesting. What's up, bro? I guess you're my Pokemon professor? You look fucking stupid for a professor. Alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue. My new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give it a go. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about uh, these three first. Now that one's Rowlet. Fucking look at him, little stupid asshole. <laughs> he looked up. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Crew, crew! That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Boom, boom! He's Naruto running! The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Clash Plash! Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Does Cyndaquil get a double typing? Because doesn't Oshawott become a flying grass type? And Oshawott becomes water... Steel, maybe? Um... Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50? Fuck, dude. Jesus. You have these on hand? Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, I, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. Are we getting Pokeball lore? And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at uh, uh, throw one of them at Pokemon and pure water type potion. Rowlet starts as grass flying, so surely he's the better pick. But the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'm very alone. I only have you, little boy. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. What is more typings equal better pick? I don't know. More variety? Because you'll have like grass and flying moves that deal more damage. And also like, you know, grass is weak to flying, but if you have flying moves, or flying type, you won't be as weak to it, I guess. Uh, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. 
though far be it from me to say so, I suppose given my own direct lack of skill in this area. Like, that's not me in the tutorial. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down ZR button to ready the Pokeball and take aim. You just keep moving around as you do. Use the right stick to adjust the angle and aim carefully at your Pokemon target. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, they may be able to catch it. You may be able to catch it. If you've ready the Pokeball but don't want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Still weak to flying. Yeah, I guess, you know, they would have more weaknesses, but my point about the moves still stand. Like, you know, Relic can have... Isn't it when they use a move that's the same type as them, it does... It's more effective. So, like, Relic can use grass and water type moves and deal more damage. Whoops. I'm still gonna go Cyndaquil because I don't really like the other two. The more weaknesses. Well, it's not necessarily more weaknesses, surely. Don't, don't fucking dodge me. Getting the ball. Yeah, you're fucking right. Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon! It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Michael. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Of course not. I do get to catch them all. Got them right in the fucking mud. Give it, give it here. I can hardly believe it, Michael. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catching them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up. Sharpish, shall we? Watch this. Fucking yeet. Yeet. Fuck.
I return. <sighs> yes, the ball broke. Uh, Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another good go. Old well, now I'm old boy. What the hell, bro? Quick shot. Alright. Come here. Come here. I'm getting you. Alright? You're going in this? Agreed? Just... No, no, no. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Goddamn right. It doesn't shake three times. It only shakes once. Thank you very much, indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you've caught have only just arrived at the village with the help to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village as if, almost as if they knew you'd come following. But I must say, Michael, I was taken aback by how well you used Pokeballs. How is it that you can catch Pokemon so ably, I assume is how you pronounce that word, when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. I was sent by God. Seek out all Pokemon. You can read English? That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokémon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokémon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. <laughs> and therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. What is he? What, is he ever going to explain what's on his head? Or is that just a quirky character detail? Because I hate it. Uh, Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another my out, my boy? You've convinced me. Then, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. Don't touch me, sir. We've a, com we've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, I'm the realist. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then, we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. <sighs> what could that be? It looks ominous and foreboding. That was a good word, foreboding. Part of it. Part of that word usage. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. Wow, look at the village. It's so populated. Look at this girl giving me the side eye like, who? Oh, you know, there's Laventon with another child for the village. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village, it's come a long way thanks to the fine... That this road we're on now is known to the locals the village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much... 
and since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate. Now that impressive building up ahead of ours is Galaxy Hall. Okay, well, I know nothing about this village now. What is this word? Oh, botheration? I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left, the Wallflower it's called. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Uh, use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your mission and requests. You'll also see guidance markers when you're running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, uh, stop and look around. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you, Bellamy? I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Okay. What's this? Canala Can Can Bridge. Can I throw Pokeballs in here? No. Better head to the Wallflower. Okay. Sir, dude. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The Wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh, racist. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in all those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Leventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do not get away, uh, do get away from him at times, though it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago. I know that move! They apparently can probably lightning! Uh, and had to take to my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Nice shoes. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of a fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! Akari. Okay. But everything will be quite all right now. Michael here has, has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. What the fuck? She looks so pissed off. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? Oh, shit. Uh, you can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Celine. She looks like Cyrus. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. I guess Galaxy becomes Galactic. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. You look to be 15 or so. Oh, thanks. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Damn. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us, Mugus, without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. <coughs> Hello, Katie. The Pokemon do go. Uh, but we're still, like, in the introduction. Um, so it's, it's going. Uh, aloof as always, I see. 
We haven't even picked a starter yet, I don't think. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sold on it. How, how goes uh, po politics and such? It's so much cider. Fuck, man. Just, what the hell? I, uh, it would take me so long to try every one of those, but I would want to. Um, I, oh my god, I could do, I could go there and do a cider ranking stream. We have all the apples, we have the cider. I could try a, a cider. Do it? I want to. I want to. Amber was saying she was she, she might have a room in September, but I have no idea where it is. Is all of Seattle like that? Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversations then, eh? Biddy old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. I've got two children with me. <laughs> Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. <laughs> That's why I imagine he says. Uh, I don't want to cider and beer places all over. That would be an interesting stream, me trying a bunch of ciders and getting increasingly drunk, but heavily criticizing them all. We don't have that. We have like four different types of cider here. And... Most of them are very sweet. Professor Leventon. Where exactly... Oh, this is the little girl speaking. Professor Leventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know, uh, of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the Space-Time Rift, our new friend fell right out of it. Are you getting this, by the way? Are you... Are you gonna... Are, are you... Are you going to delve into Arceus? You can't be serious. Have you played any of it yet? Come now, I am a scientist. Something of a scientist myself. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. You're like two hours in? Okay. Well then, by the end of this stream, I'll be more in it than you. So in other words... If I abuse camera angles, it looks like I have a big, long finger. A-D. Uh, unless I start playing right now? No. No, Katie. You have to watch. Look at me. Look at me do the thing. I'm pressing the A button. That there uh, are in the grass, in forests, by water, and wherever they like. Our job is the survey phase. <laughs> I fix the thing. Do do exclamation sounds, and you'll see the list of sounds. I I made it because I remember to, um, but it's a really long list. Look at that long list. There's many more. Also, I caught out a good few, uh, because I was like, you know, little secret ones. But come is no longer a secret one. It's also not even in alphabetical order. Uh, our job is the survey corps is to research them and find out what co Actually, it should be in alphabetical order. Yeah, it is in alphabetical order. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Publicly available cum. Well, who am I if not the giver of cum to the populace? It's all but impossible to know what kind of powers they might possess, or what sort of wondrous things they can do. Does he go cross-eyed, like, occasionally? But that's where Michael will come in. He successfully caught three Pokémon. Three of them in quick order, if you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokémon research in earnest. Three! We've heard enough. Uh, we have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. 
but the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. It seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. I could beat a moose. Does the Survey Corps... Fuck you, Benny. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokeball is of your Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. Why are you complaining about him getting an extra portion for me when the boss just got ten portions for herself? Idiot. I'm sure it will start to rain in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Michael. You think and think. If you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said member fell out of the sky. What do you think of the game so far anyway, Katie? I want a four paragraph review with uh, a PowerPoint presentation that summarizes it in uh, five slides or less. Um, get on that. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Michael has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Michael's skills. No, no, not cop. Awful. All of that is terrible. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Michael, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. Not far enough for a PowerPoint yet? That's fair. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Well, that's fucked up. Captain Selene's somewhat like his, his, Hisui? In that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. I don't sleep with children on the first night I met them. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is so full of mysteries. You can move around during battle. Interesting. Katie, spoilers! Fuck! Next you're gonna be telling me that... Uh... Fucking... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna be telling me Lex, because I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> I really ha have like no idea. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Next you're gonna tell me that you can save the game at any time by pressing uh, uh, the up button on the d-pad fo uh, followed by uh, ZL and pressing A. Are you gonna are you gonna be telling me that? Better not. Is that that's a spoiler. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. Oh, they weren't talking about a person, they were talking about the place. Okay. To read them at any time, press simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Programmer right there. This kid's fucking switch controller is confusing, okay? Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. See, see, you were going to spoil, I know you, Katie, you were going to spoil the game by telling me 
that to save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll. That's what that's what I just said. There's also an auto save. You, I, see, I didn't know, but I mean, I did know about the auto save function. Fuck off. Stupid. Is there multiplayer in this? You can spoil that on me if you really want to. Our five principles behave like courtesy to others. Superiors are owed to your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. It's a full length mirror. There's some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Okay. I think I said that there's, uh, so I don't know how it works. Not that I've found yet, there's trading, but that's it. You don't have that unlocked, okay. See, my suspicion, my, my suspicion is that it's gonna be very similar to Monster Hunter, but with a lack of multiplayer, maybe it's not. What the fuck is that? Yo, Badoof and Babarrel? Dude, that lightning made my nuts vibrate independently. There are some Monster Hunter vibes. Cool. The next day. Oh, we have garlic hanging. We're not gonna get attacked by vampires anytime soon. Uh, good morning, Michael. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it made my nuts vibrate. Thank Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it our all. We'll spin. We'll spin beforehand. There we go. Always give a little spin to start the day. Look at that. He looks kind of dizzy walking out. Uh, what lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's head to... Let's get to headquarters. Captain Selena's waiting. Can I have some proper shoes? I'm just in sandals. I'm like... Sandals don't really, you know, live up to something like... Crocs. Or, you know, something more comfortable. I don't know why anyone wears sandals. Sandals suck. Is that a hot take? They're dumb. Survey Corps' offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. Uh, the wild Pokemon. They, they were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon. But against a whole pack, I'm numbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. But the medical corps will put you with two rights. Someone dying in there? That man's with the security corps. And even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Especially camping around, around the water. Nah, my feet get sweaty and then it gets slippery. It's awful. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Celine, Michael is here. You may enter. She looks like the Hokage. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shanks. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be able to you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our survey cores satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Nice, a belt. 
That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. It's called an aesthetic, bitch. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. By pressing the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon, Mike. Pardon, Michael. Come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Leventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Michael absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've ju got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Oh, Pokeboy! Crew crew! Boom! Splish splash! Go on, Michael. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Well, you know, because uh, this game is... Uh, Is a, I, this, is, this is a bit of an offensive joke. Because this game is, you know, Japanese and all. I think it's Japanese made. Or was this the first one made? I don't know. Um, we're going to honor the uh, those crazy Asians by picking the Pokemon that doesn't have eyes. Foom, foom. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. Oh, look at how sad Ocelot is. He's like, fuck, man. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm just... Fucking thought you picked me. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught in Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you. So take it. It's yours. Please, don't come near me. You received a Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my boy. Play, pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Cuckoo. Plash. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Oh, oh no, that's her. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. Yeah, Ocelot doesn't seem too happy. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Michael fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist with me assist me with my research for now. Crew. Plish plash. By the by, what species has Captain Celine charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Yeah, that's where she told me to go. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. 20. Is that on top of the 50 you gave me, or did you take your 50 back? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head to the gate. Okay. I assume I can't do anything with any of these shops yet. Oh, I can't. Oh, fucking Cyndaquil. Speak to me, bro. Yeah? 
Okay. Just okay. You just stand there. That's kind of weird. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. All right, fucker. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisu. It's them? Who's they? I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like uh, to hear of, uh, what's her name? The uh, legend or uh, champion? What's your name? Cynthia? I think that's it. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to another in battle? Sure. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though, I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Ginkgo. Togepi. Cool. Is it turn-based combat or... Nickel starts with quick attack? Weird. Also, 54 HP. You said kind of turn based combat? That felt like turn based. It'd be easier to see. Oh, too late. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Hey, you got a new move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, you'll learn more and more moves and grow even stronger. Sometimes you can attack twice and vice versa. Okay. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, use your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change move option. I love it. I love that. I don't have to stress about making him forget a move. Amazing. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. It's me. I know how to use them. I can't point very vigorously because my arms hurt. At any rate, let me help our two battles... Two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. You obtained five potions. A topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. A potion. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be able to try. More Galaxy team members mean more customers for yours truly, after all. Alright, get out of here, you punk. Before I rob you on the streets and fucking slice your guts open because I think that's the time we're in. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Out of the Obsidian Fieldlands! When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure that you choose a destination from your map and tell Reese, Res, the guardsman, where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Yeah, I'll save your life. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. You're Michael, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through here. Your trial will take place inside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Oh my god, it's like the jo- is it Johto? I can't remember. It's like the region. The region. And then, you know, we'll just- we'll just dub over it and post. 
pretty pretty smart. Yeah, that's what I said. Sino Re region, and then I'll just take the Sino sound bite and put it easy. Uh, this is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Celine got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear, I don't intend to lift a finger. Michael's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors. You'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him stole lies, in fact, with me. A little doggo has snuck into the room with Rawhide, but isn't hers. Uh, she'll probably stay quiet, though, because she's sneaking in the Rawhide. Well, I'm sure Michael will be fine. Let's begin the trial. <laughs> He's like, don't you fucking try. Okay. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. I thought it was the obsidian fucking field lens. Oh, yeah, there we go. And along comes a Bidoof. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. All right, fucker. Uh, hold down ZL to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run from people, so this will be easy. <laughs> Yeet! Yeet. I did it. You caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. My god, I love him. He looks so cute. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. You should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be rather hard to spot. Uh, press the V button to crouch down. Make it uh, press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass, will crouch. It'll be even harder to Pokemon to detect. Stealth. Do you see the grass like freak out when I crouch around it? It like sucks it all in. That Stylie's caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Spoiled apricot? Oh, it doesn't seem to bug out now when I do it. What? Jesus. What was that? Alright, you don't get the rawhide after that. Minute. Go on. Get up there. Sam like tried to come in the door and she 
barked at him and he was just like he, he didn't know what the fuck was going on i can throw the spoiled apricot is it like a lure i forgot there's something i ought to teach you since you're still new to this Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Celine tells us, have an item at the ready, but want to send a press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, when uh, Captain's a real expert on these things. Start throwing your Pokeball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. <laughs> we have to catch a Shinx. Oh, I thought you were gonna fly up there and get it. You just fucking smacked the tree. Alright, well, hey. Fair enough. Who's that? Get him! Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Uh, yeah. He looks aggressive as fuck. Somebody's gotta put him down. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Um, who's Winji? Get up there. Uh... Pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Next time uh, if it has a fight with you, be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay, so you can still catch Pokemon normally. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed with battle, you can throw a Pokemon at Pokeball at any time to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold on to your, your own in battle. Simply throw a ball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokeball, press the X button and it will allow you to toggle between your items and Pokeballs. <sighs> okay. Fucking kill him. How close can I get? Can I just fucking front on this guy? Uh, he's quick tank. Get him! Yeah, loser. Fucking, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, pussy? Yeah, fuck him up. Fucking get him. Yeah, take that, you stupid son of a bitch. Go! <gasps> Santa Quill! Are you okay? Why does it only shake once? You approached this Pokemon without an interfere and caught each one. Yeah, I kind of fronted on the Shinx. Uh, you're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Who's to say? You know, who's, who's to say? With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. <laughs> and then, I was all like, no, it's part of the hat. Oh ho ho, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Michael. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a com You have a fucking camera? Oh, stop taking pictures of kids, man. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Selene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? What are you... What are you gonna do with that photo you just took of me, sir?
In time, oh, in time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. I already have four. Come now, you two, let's not dilly dally. Captain Selena waits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Selena will be very pleased. Cyndaquil, kill! Kill! Ember! Em use. seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Thanks. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to something. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like you, a stranger like yourself, could be worthy, but you cleared it. Hey, the Discord. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Get changed in your room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Okay. I do good, Akari. Hi. I uh forgot what. Oh, it's over here. Sweet. I forgot what room was my room. Do you want to change your outfit? Yes. Time to put on your stuff. Would you like to change? Yes. I got a fucking cool ass scarf. Look at it flow in the wind there as I walk. It's not natural, but it's cool. Oh, I didn't put on the sandals? I can't tell. The sandals look the same. Oh my god, he takes his shoes off. Feet. Little boy feet. Oh yeah, the cool ass sandals. Hell yeah. They look like snails. Or whatever the snail Pokemon is. Look at me, I look just like you. It's almost as if the captain had a tailor just for you. I see you've ch uh, Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Oh, hat! Now present yourself to the commander. Commander Kamado. Look at this dude. I've been waiting for you. I am Commando, Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So you are Michael. Uh, yep. Herm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat! Uh, you charge at him. Hiya! 
You've got vigor, I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Why am I giving the same voice as the other guy? Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a port portent? portent of disaster. They use some funny words in this game. Uh, no, definitely not. Look at this guy. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I want you, my god. <coughs> Pokemon are, Pokemon are terrible, terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. I did it! Yay! Look at me! I'm a hero! Look at, that, look at that low frame rate abra back there. What the shit? So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the survey corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see. Indeed, you see. The more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will allow, will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you'll need this. You obtained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. And three grand as well. You will, you will have to buy the necessary materials. Thanks. I'm rich! Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Selene. Now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy it. You can even make your own five footballs. Think this what you can do with that. That's how the craft works. How do I... How do I track it? I guess I am tracking it. I don't know. Uh, who's this? Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local clother. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Oh, I just got this uniform. You received everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. There's a lot of shops, it looks like. Alright, too close, Akari. This way, well, actually, pretty far away. Go, Cyndaquil. That guy's got a little cut in his cheek. He needs a plaster or a little uh, kiss from his mother. Um, you can use the workbench here to, to the craft work anytime you need to make items at the village. Why does it look like it's got Danganronpa blood on it? And I'll supply you with what... Uh, you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying <clears throat> Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Craft it. I think I can figure out how to craft items. She's so excited. Oh ho, now, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that this is your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. 
also that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. You received a Pokedex. Oh, I don't even get to see what it looks like. Oh, it's a book. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I'll also, I've also got Pokemon research as the Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good Michael. Activate guide! Hey, Beauregard. Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here uh, at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Accepting requests, side quests, accept them and do them. They're good for you. Hi, will you give me the side quest? Here, so there's this pro Pokemon called Wormple. Have you heard of it? Of course I have. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Leventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo... Really? You really? Explain that to me? Fuck you. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, can you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. This guy really wants a fucking Wurmple. This game really, really went out of its way to explain evolution to me, but when it got to battling Pokemon, there was no tutorial. It just told me to go. Uh, interesting. Uh, curious. I know Shinx's ears have had odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use, I can't remember this. It'll keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, can you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Hey, fucking chill out, buddy. Look. There you go. Right there. Well, okay. All right, let's have a peek at those round ears. Shinx, will you stop twerking in front of this guy? He's pretty cute. He's a little cutie. I like... Uh, the Pokemon kind of cute. That's it. Its ears have a yellow cross pattern on them. Kind of like a star. <laughs> Can't tell you what a relief this is. I felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Okay. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Cyndaquil, kill, ember, burn, uh, quick attack. Okay. Flame wheel. Does he already have a new move? Did I miss him learning another move? Um, what is this? Is this like... Research level zero. I don't understand. Is 
This is so much more of a drag than I was expecting. God damn. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are many, great many tasks I need you to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Oh, this is the thing I just questioned. Uh, research the uh, tasks you carry out to complete the Pokedex. Pokemon speed of the varieties. Focus on what Pokemon I feel is very experienced in track. So be sure to check them out. You must cat, cat, catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain uh, research points and other rewards. Why she looks so mad. One last piece of advice, Michael. If you see a wild Pokemon attacks uh, coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Say again? Here, watch closely and remember what I do. You can do it later. Should break that fucking dive roll? Yep. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. Uh, if you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. Security Corps had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx's thunder shock. You almost died to a Shinx, you fucking loser. But don't worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. The fuck? Cyndaquil, kill! That was a good throw. Oh, my controller is like losing connection. I guess I've leaned too far back. What the fuck's this Bidoof doing? Now let me share some Survey Core wisdom. Focus on the Pokemon with ZL, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have research tasks to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need to catch two, then three. Sorry, then four, then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Uh, give it a try now if you want to. I'll go on ahead. I've already done it. It's it's already dead. So I have to catch 25. Jesus. Number of heavy specimens caught. Okay. Number defeated. One. So 15. Number of different forms you've obtained. There's a different form of Bidoof. I have to evolve one. Genders count as forms. Oh, okay. Holy shit, that hurt. Uh... Why do I have so much health? 67 to start off with. That's not normal, right? Usually they start with, like, 20 HP. Good job, Bidoof. Alright, well, we may as well catch this one because it's male. How the fuck do I. Oh, A. Number of different forms. Yeah, okay. Easy. 
Syndical's quite fucked up already. Uh, may as well just use an item. I'm sure we'll get plenty of potions in the future. Oh yeah, I have to remember to like look for trees and shit. So like send Starly. I have to fuck up that tree. Beat it up! Yeah, fucking get it! Yeah! Yeah! I'm just gonna kill this one, I think. Fucking roll out. <gasps> Bidoof probably learned roll out, and Shink's got a move. Alright, let's get Starly. Um, is that a Pokemon trainer? Do we still fight Pokemon trainers? That doesn't really make sense, but okay. I think you've got it, but a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon and check the research task for it. It's just uh, try to try to start it next. Uh, one of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in tall grass. Well, I already did that. Do I have to catch a certain amount of them? I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. This sounds neat. Like, there's like a full list of things to do with every Pokemon. But it's going to be kind of annoying for the Pokemon with evolutions. Unless it's the same between all the evolutions. Uh, number you've caught without being spotted, 20. Number caught, 25. Whoops. Uh, that was the wrong button. Well, it was the right button, but the wrong time. I like that it tracks it up in the top left there. No, you didn't see shit. You didn't fucking see shit. God damn, idiot. Uh oh. No! Back here! Oh, so he gets XP from doing that as well. That's pretty nifty. I'm gonna fucking jump! Oh, shit. Ow! My legs! What are you doing out here? The more energy a Pokemon's got, the harder it will be to catch. If you battle a Pokemon, it'll lower its HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to find a Wurmple. Why can't I go, like, first person? Weird. So you're gonna attack me? <sighs> With ground type moves? Okay, times you've seen it use bite, times you've seen it use quick attack, and of different forms you've obtained. I should have sent Badoof out actually. Uh, 
Um, so ours is a dude, so we may- Oh, that's a rock. Never mind. Um, we can probably kill it before it kills us. Ow, I got hit! Fuck! Oops, I didn't mean to send you out. You gonna fuck this up? Nice. Tumblestone? That's what I make Pokeballs out of, isn't it? You see nothing. Shit. This game does seem interesting. I'm very curious what, like, end game of this game is going to be like. It's going to be grindy as shit, uh, I feel. But it might be fun. Who doesn't like, love the grind of Pokemon, you know? And uh, th I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. Are there thing? No, there's no... Is that an Eevee? There's no, like, uh, version locks in this, because it's all just Arceus, so, uh... I can legit 100% this without the need of other people. Oops, I sent out a Pokemon. I'll have to get used to that. He ran away. Um... I am curious about... If you got away. Like, you know, Pokemon that evolve through trading. Do I still have to trade? I, I want to be able to beat this whole game and 100% it without people. <laughs> I want to be able to do it on my own without having to organize with other people and be like, hey, do you want to help me evolve a Gengar? Just real quick. Do you have anything you want to evolve? No, is that Ponyta over there? Yeet! I can nail them right in the head. You shitter. Oh, you run. Yeet! Sweet, we got pony time. What can we do if not come out in the water? Okay, you can. He ran away. I need to find a wormhole. Holy shit, that's a fucking rapidash. Uh, I'm going to assume I don't want to fuck with the Rapidash right now. He's also got evil eyes. So that's kind of scary. I mean, you don't suppose I could just... No, probably not, right? But, like, maybe... Bro.
Uh oh. Badoof, uh, give me them berries. Good job, buddy. Goddamn fucking right I caught him. What does this mean? Oh, like he's he's interacting with me? Okay. Oh, there's a wormhole. <laughs> okay, I really need to learn the throw distance. Okay, we got it eventually. Fuck, man. Okay, well, the worm pulls got away. This guy's level two. Takes a hit though. Join me, Weasel. Join my pasture. Why? Please. Dude! Join the squad! Goddamn fucking right! We're not catching a worm pull. We did catch a did we catch one more? I don't think we did. Let's just at the very least kill useful. What is Nile sending me at this time? 
Oh. Okay. Um. Can I craft more Pokeballs? Yes. I need more apricorns. Just base apricorns? Okay. Item storage. I can rest. Just a little while. I assume, yeah, that's gonna heal everyone. Sweet. Am I gonna be able to cook at some point? Need to switch up the Pokemon. Come on by. Uh. Let's add Ponyta to the squad and Weasel. Can you nickname Pokemon in this? I haven't gotten the option to nickname. Change name. Yeah, okay. Change moves. Check summary. Oh, they have that, uh, like nature stuff. What does the two and the one mean next to the numbers? Oh, is that... Uh, I think I know what that is. That's from, like, the type of Pokemon they're killing, isn't it? Eevees or Ivies, something like that. Special attack. Speed done for, uh... For Shanks isn't great, I don't think. Speed down for Flotzel isn't great either. 76 attack from Ponyta, damn. Right. I guess we head back to where we saw uh, them Wormpoles and try to catch one. Give me them! These look like apricots and more pokeballs. Nice. Yeah, you better run from me, Starly. I'll kill you. <laughs> you should spike on rock. You'll find Tumblestone. Yeah, yeah, I already know. Can you not smash it? Or you can't? More flotsels. There's a worm pull over there. Hey look, a carry's out here. Around here you can find Pokemon called Buizels. It's got an aggressive disposition. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves. Just like Shinx, and you need to battle it to catch it. He's such a pure little boy. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by wild Pokemon. If you take further, further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Uh, and speaking of which, your research tasks for Buizel include seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use a move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. You take care of some of the Buizel's research tasks, then come talk to me. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this Wurmple over here. Sweet. Evolve three wormples for some reason. Number you've caught without being spotted. Number of light specimens you've caught. Does that count as not being spotted? Oh, I got out anyway, so we'll never know.
don't catch anymore. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Does this mean I can craft anywhere? You've obtained a crafting kit. Kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there is no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. Okay. One orange berry and one medicinal leak. I should have tons of those. The cover of your Pogodex will tell if there are tasks you've finished and can report. Oh, okay, so I have to report these things. Interesting. All right. What are you going to say to me? What level do you think that Rapidash is going to be? Because, like, do you think I could just kit myself out with a full team of Buizels with some sort of water move and, you know, fucking take it down? How am I supposed to tell if they're heavy? Shit. Fuck. Did he dodge it? Okay, please stop moving so much. So number caught, three. Okay, so that did count as being seen, though. So I just have to wait for him to turn his back and then sneak up on him? Nope. That was pro throw. That better be a catch. Okay. Fuck you. It's a wormhole. Mm, the grass is bugging out a little bit there. That's fine now. I wonder why you can throw spoiled apricorns. What's up, Professor? How do I actually use the crafting kit? Oh, I can favorite it. Okay. Sweet. That's nice. So I can just make more Pokeballs on the fly. If it is in the fray, you must be. You must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, my dear boy. Uh, seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. You see, it was money based on 
the level and number of Pokemon you've caught, you'll receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Look at all those guys I caught. Two grand, nice. Oh yeah, I guess I should have gone clothes shopping. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Okay. Research level complete for a... Uh... Cyndaquil? Even though there's so much more to do? Okay, I don't I don't really understand where the number is coming from. But I won't complain. <gasps> no longer a no star member. Am I gonna be a one star member? It's time you earned yourself a star. Goddamn fucking right. I deserve a star. Oops. Hey, do you wanna give me clothes? You received a modern jacket, a pair of modern trousers, and a pair of modern shoes. Why'd I get this? Oh, I'm getting more special stuff. I didn't pre-order this or anything. Shaman fancy kimono and a pair of shaman fancy bottoms. Is this because I have like the previous games on my Switch? Please stop giving me stuff. I wish to peruse your wares. Pikachu Festival Mask and Eevee Festival Mask. Okay. I can wear a basket on my head? Fancy kimono. Uh, in Pokemon Shield, I bought every piece of clothing that was available in the game. Expert. Okay, well, I don't really want any of those. Can I change clothes and see what you gave me? Off. Terrible. Modern jacket. Oh, pfft. Okay, well, I can just dress as the villain. <gasps> Already I have my own fancy kimono? Hell yeah. Fancy bottoms, too? Casual tea. No, no, no. Fancy bottoms. Fancy kimono. Uh, I like 
I like the, you know, the weird slug boots. What was this? Color contacts. Oh, my eyes? I can change the color of my eyes? Okay, let's do that. I look great. You want a starly? I can give you a starly. Heading out of the village, of course. Uh, you are the survey corps, Mister. Find out all about starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. When I see starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see a Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Okay, so I have to complete. I'm confused. So I don't, I don't actually, oh, I like that just seeing a Rapidash puts it on, on the list. Alpha specimens caught, okay. Interesting. So I don't actually have to do all of these research tasks to finish, to complete uh, the technology in this game is all over the place. It is. The guy whipped out a camera at one point. Um, yeah, that confuses me that I don't have to do all of the uh, things in order to max it out. Whatever. You want to sell me food or some shit? No? Okay. What about you? Give me a minute. I'm rolling over to you. No? You wanted to see a wormhole, didn't you? Of course I do. Which one of these is the worst Wurmple I've got? This guy. Here you go. I like to name this Wurmple right away. Now I've been told the Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name like that in mind. But it might evolve into a Duskox or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, Bugene, obviously. I'll raise Bugene to be a splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. Poor guy doesn't know what's ahead of him. Where's this other guy? He's got the cut cheek. What was it you wanted? You wanted... I can't remember. Wait, what was the other, uh, what was the other request I had? Oh, the Shanks. I already did that one. Okay. You picked that name as well? Great minds. Think alike. But fools seldom differ. I'm very relaxed playing this game. Uh, if you uh, just more than it, show me your Pokedex. There you go. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Yeah! You should attain the rank of first star. Oh, 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 you can now use heavy balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. Oh, so this is like, it's like I got a gym badge. Uh, the rewards you earn from for your survey reports will be more generous now too. And these as well, they are further recipes you'll need for crafting. 
You've obtained a recipe for crafting heavy balls. I don't need to know how to craft heavy balls. I got a bear right here. Uh, one apricorn and one black tumbles. Crafting revives. One vivichoke and two medicinal leeks. Well, this guy first reminds a testament to your native. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth my, uh, by moving up through a ranks. What the shit's going on? It's something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky... Is it? No, it's just bugging out on my screen. Okay. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Don't you teleport me to the Wallflower. I wanted to explore that extra rim. You son of a bitch of a... <laughs> so, Michael, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. But okay, well, this I have to look at. Shannon told me she's drunk and now she's sending me a snap. It is bugging out on your screen as well. What's going on? You see this? What's happening? Oh my fucking battery's about to die. What the shit? Alright, well, I didn't expect it to crap out so quickly. That's a shame. I don't know what to do. Indeed so. I need to get through this cutscene before it fucking the battery runs out. Why don't I get any warnings? Man, my switch sucks. <laughs> it's like actually dying right now. Would you approach? We gotta get through this. But uh, I was thinking maybe Michael can handle it for me. I was told I could be a bit of a skilled battle pro, but so. Yeah, cry bitch. Uh, yes, that request came from my of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here for and the galaxy arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure we'd start to learn from them. Uh, there's much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. We can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. I hope this black screen is intentional. It is. The next day. Where's battery? 2%! Oh no. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Alright. I mean, I don't, but we gotta we, uh, we got wrap this up. Thank you, I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. I've been doing that. Get out of here, let me save. Walk faster! Look at this smug prick. Okay. Okay, we can chill out now. Well, I think I'm still in the tutorial, but this game's fun. I'll probably not play any of this during the week. Um, but I might, I might attempt to uh, play more of it next week. Stream more of it next week. But it seems my switch is about to die. So, a lot of, a lot of doo doo poo poo. Does that, like, switch light thing, um, can that be docked? The, like, cheap switch? Because if that can be docked, then I might just buy that. I have to investigate, because this switch was, is, like, four years old at this point. Over four years old. Which isn't that long for a console. Uh, I don't think so. That's gay.
but it's uh it's dying maybe i have to just go into it and clean it out but i've already replaced so many parts of this switch that i think it's just time to give up on it and get get another one they're bleeding me dry those nintendo guys um yeah that's a shame let's see what else we can do uh at the switch scenes. Hey, music. I need to switch my screen back. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't crap out. Ooh, it's it's threatening to. Let's turn the music down a little bit. And put you guys up there. Look at this. I can look at you now and almost have eye contact. And then if I want eye contact for dramatic effect, I can do this. It's so much easier. Um, it's so warm in here. I am very sweaty. Let's see what kind of games I got. See if we got anything else to play. Play some Halo. Let's see what I have on Steam. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why I died so much quicker. Maybe, maybe because RCS is like a more demanding game. Because we were able to get about four hours worth out of it when we were doing the Nuzlocke. Uh, not, not this time. That was that was strange. I apologize. I apologize, but what can you do? I am a poor little man with not a lot of money. Let me text Connor. Maybe we could play a game of Blood Bowl. play a game of Blood Bowl against Connor, because why not? Uh, which means I also need Discord. Connor's... Alright, before before Connor shows up, he's probably going to kick my ass, because he's very good at the game. But, you guys get to see my team. Um, Lid Bowl... I won't be, I don't plan to stream the next league, uh, but, you know, pre-league practice, even though it's not actually pre-league practice, we'll just call it that anyway. Katie, are you getting into Blood Bowl anytime soon? Now that Amber's uh, a fully-fledged... Uh, a Blood Bowl baby. It's a good name, Blood Bowl baby. Probably will take you a while 
Fair. What kind of games do you have to get through? Also, explain your Discord thing. We love a do pass recommendation. Makes no sense to me. What's a do pass? Sounds like a shitty Pokemon. Do pass is when a bill leaves committee without amendments. Basically, I have to do less paperwork. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I, I support that. <laughs> Listen to that classic Blood Bowl music. Mmm, baby. That brings us back to pain and horror. Um, it's love and finished Hades or Yakuza 0 or Great Ace Attorney. Those are very important games that you need to get through. Just know that Yakuza 0 is much more of an undertaking uh, than, you, than just one game. You, you, play, you play Yakuza 0 and you're in it for Yakuza 1, 2, 3... Four, five, and six. And if you're an extra special little human being, you'll go seven two for the optimal experience. And then you got the spin-offs. Which is really just judgment. One and two. But they're hard to get because they're only on Xbox right now. I think. Maybe they're on PlayStation. No, they're on PlayStation and they recently got ported to Xbox. They're not on PC. Um, Shane started Yakuza uh, in like October. He, he went back and played Zero again. And he's now currently about to beat five. Hades is very good, but finishing Hades isn't really, you know, a goal. Playing it and experiencing it and having fun with it. That's the goal of Hades. Uh, what was the other one? Greatest Attorney? No comment. What's that What's that game called? Um, with the eye and the robot and the AI and the little girl with the pipe? AI Somnium Files? That's coming out soon as well, so that, that'll be one to add to the list. But you won't have to buy that. You'll be able to watch it here on Twitch uh, TV slash Big D TV. Blood Bowl. There we go. That was a smooth transition. Um, you do want to play it? Fair. Look at all our teams. We almost had this team. This was the team I was originally going to put into the current league. Uh, know all the twists when watching and you can watch me call every single one of them perfectly Because I'm just that good uh, I do this does this hide it? No, it doesn't Okay, This scene's a bit wacky. So let's let's try this scene out And this Oh, it's it's not the correct size for some reason and that's a little bit too big. That's a little bit too small. Do you want to fit the fucking screen, please? Is that right? That looks right. So this was the original team I was going to pull into the league. The Amazons, which is the only all-female team, I believe, that's in the game. 60% uh, of the team is currently pregnant. And um, I will not be there for the birth of those children. Because... They weren't very good. I don't think I won a single game uh, in any of my practice games, except against the AI. The AI sucks. Uh, and I just, I just wasn't very happy with the names I came up with them. Like this one, 
She she would have she wouldn't have made it. She would have had to take the sack. Myrtle mitosis. Okay, that's like baseline. Barely passes. Okay, toxic female dog. Android McHuman woman. Funny. Not my style though. Clyde Barker. I mean that's we were straight from the bottom of the barrel at that point. Now Yolanda Yodeler, top tier name right there. I love her. Her family created yodeling. Um, obviously that promoted her to team captain. Uh, but like Prostrami Puss, Skullcracker, I ate the Great. Nah, they're not. They're not good. Dapanini, good. Piss Shooter though. Piss Drinker, Penelope Piss Drinker. You know, we had like a thrower catcher thing going on. Didn't quite, didn't quite make the cut. Uh, so this team got sacked, and instead I brought back, I brought back some classics. An all-star team back from the dead. Um, we brought back every player on this team except for one, is a returning player from a previous team, who's been brought back from the dead. Except the teams that I brought them from, one of them was already dead. The Camry, or like skeleton people. Uh, so some of these people are brought back from the dead a second time. Uh, and they look, they, you know, I mean they look like they died. And uh, we've, got, we've got our tough guys just kind of blocking everyone else. It's common. Hello, Connor. Hello. How are you? Good. What would you? I am warm and sweaty. Why? I don't know. It's warm in here. Is it sweaty in there? It's getting sweaty. Sounds like a you problem. It is. Uh, so I'll survive. So what happened to Switch? I don't know, it's just, the, it started bugging out, and I was like, what the fuck's going on? And then I looked, and it was at, like, 3%, and I was mid-cutscene, so I had to, like, really rush through and get to a save point before it died. And, um, we made it. Okay, you better use a random ass team. Hmm? Use a random ass team you have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, on, use, I'm gonna use my reanimated returners. Well, no, no, I, I, I don't recommend it because I'm going to use uh, a team. I'm going to use a different team. <laughs> uh, I think, I think, are you going to go with Operation Raptor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I think, I think this is one of the teams that I put the goblins against. And they actually yeah, they... somewhat stood their ground and I was like, these goblin folk aren't so bad. Then I started pushing, and then the ge then the internet cut out, and you were like, "Okay, Connor, I'm gonna let you score now." <laughs> I think that game was only like a one nil win to you, and I was like, "Yeah, they they, they held their own. They might not be that bad." And then no, cut don't you remember? We didn't finish that game. My internet went. Did we not? I don't remember. No, I remember. Um, my cross score injured your. Fucking Pokemon? big guy. Oh, yeah, he injured, cool. he injured your big guy. Then you apothecaried, and it was the exact same injury again. And then your low guy started getting knocked out. And then my internet cut out. Yeah, I don't, I don't recommend goblins. <clears throat> I take pride in this team. That's a good name. Thank you. I take pride in this team because they've been. I only use them in AI league, so like they are not at all. Like custom. This is all genuine rolls and shit I got for them. How many leagues has this team played in? Uh, I did that eternal league thing with them. Oh, so it's just one infinite league. It's like four like small leagues in one candle. Okay. Well, I take pride in these guys because they're all heroes. <laughs> Okay. Especially Valfer Brent right there. Big boy.
nice to see it has once again just deleted the fucking save formation I had. <clears throat> this is a weird ass formation it started me with. What kind of attack formation is this? Why would I want Valfer Brint at the very back? D no, I pressed for him to go there game. Come on. I don't understand this formation at all. Is it trying to like maximize disturbing presence, which is the blue square? It doesn't even do that though, because Slug Modeling doesn't have it. What is this? I just realized that you, you didn't even get to use any petty cash. It didn't. Oh yeah, I would have gotten a shit ton, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm like 1800 higher than you. Yeah, I would have been able to buy literally everything. You'll be fine. Okay, I remember you did that with the you fuck. did that with the fucking <laughs> with the goblins too. You bought less for everything. You were like, I don't, I have nothing else to buy. And oh, I have like a hundred grand left. Like plus strand. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all genuine rolls. They got fucking two plus strengths. <clears throat> Imagine I get a fucking blood now. Better not. Okay, wait. I need to remember how to set th these guys up. I guess I, just, I can just put them in. Kind of fucking. How many players on this team have you had die? Two. Two skinks. Jesus, that skinks got one strength? Yeah, that boy's taking a lot of injuries. Still going well, and he's an agility floor. <laughs> <clears throat> Can they go to like zero strength? Probably not, right? Uh, I doubt it. Well, is it possible? I actually don't know. I don't know if you can get a double. Is there any player who starts off with one strength? Halflings, maybe? Well, I mean, like, your guy, your crux or sources start with one agility. So, like, you could get yeah, zero so... agility. Yeah, I, I don't know if it does go to zero. I actually don't know. This is... This is an unfair matchup. <laughs> Well, at least your viewers will get what something nice. <laughs> Are you serious? How bad is of an injury is this? That's my my, my big hitter. Just. I mean, like I got three guys who equal his strength. Yeah, I, but I needed him, you know, to fucking bust through those guys. Fuck me, Valfer. He... <laughs> Even... Plus, the the benefit is they've all guard. This guy even has dodge. They have guard? No, fuck, man. <laughs> what is this? Follow you, fiend. Oh. How many of you guys have mighty blow? All of uh, them. Let's see. One, two. 
Only the ones with the plus strength. Okay, interesting. Uh, all right, you slug muglin. This is your one job. You can do this, right? Hero. Yeah, would you believe with the two? It was like I gave both guard, and then for both of them, their fucking second level up was a strength up. <clears throat> then the crocs go. It's like. It's almost like, what doesn't he have? Like, when I got him to level 5, I honestly didn't know what to give him. Then he yeah, thought, do you have him. any players that are, I guess maybe your subs, that are below level 4? Um, yeah, probably just subs. Probably, like, another few skinks, too. few swords, maybe. Nope. Nope, only your subs. Oh, Rip Shane. Yeah, <laughs> Rip <three>. Shane. <laughs> I brought him in because I added him to, like at the end of the very first league, so he didn't really get much game time. Yeah, dude, this is this is going to be rough. Yeah, Valfer Brent, <laughs> you want to fucking get actually play the game, bro? Bronte, no! Star Pass? Huh? Bronte, Starboy, Bronte Slibbin. Oh no, it's Gret Slibbin's the Starboy, Bronte Slibbin's his brother. Where's Gret Slibbin? Monkler, your hero. Uh, Valfer Brent, telling him to stand up. Is that. Can that trigger really stupid? I think. I don't know. Um, <coughs> I hope not. Uh, that's, what, that's what I get for hoping. Uh, Valfer Brent, you whore. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> And I just remembered I have nine rerolls. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Why do you have nine? You don't need nine. That's one too many. I had nothing else with the money. I was like, I need to spend this. Oh, you're gonna get every kickoff event as well. Jesus. I'm pretty sure everything on the team is maxed out. Except for Fan Factor. 
that only goes up by one ways and just randomly stop going up at 13, so I don't know how that works. <clears throat> You attacked a zigger. My God, it's hit. <coughs> Jesus, Connor, you sound like you, you sound like you still have the play. Yeah, I've just something caught my fucking throat. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was real fucking smart doing that. You fell for it. <laughs> oh, he stunned. <laughs> Ten kegs. Slug Muglin's pregnant. What? No, he's just bloated, bro. He looks pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, well, so do you. How fat? Sorry. Wow. You really went there? You came at me with a team fucking almost three times the team value of my team. This is, there's no, this, there's no camaraderie here. Something you from? Spunk! No, he's fine. Why does the game <laughs> let you buy nine rerolls? What I mean, like, why would it not? Because you can only use eight max. You can only use one per turn, and there's eight turns. Oh, yeah. Whoa, he's got fucking movement. Jesus, I yeah. didn't think he can move that far. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of movement. Fuck, bro. <laughs> oh, no. What, you, what, what do you mean you didn't re-roll that? What are you worried of rolling? It's okay, my... You'll never make it. Oh. Crude! Better regen. <laughs> You'll never make it. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh my god. No, don't block it up. You don't need to take <laughs> sure you don't need to do this. <laughs> you can just run a guy to it and pick it up. You have nine <laughs> re-rolls. He's probably got sure feet also, so like... Of course he has sure feet, they all have sure feet. So what do you... What, what do you gotta take this risk fucking... Look at that!
Oh. The power of the source. Shit. <clears throat> oh, come down there. And you go here, here, and here. Yeah! For a second, I thought you were acting both of that. Rise, Bronte! <coughs> Hit this man. Xorus. Oh. Ah, oh, it's just done. You gonna get up, Val, for Brynn? Oh, I could give him frenzy. That would be interesting. Is this Pfizer Denizer? I need you to be a goddamn hero. What does this look like? That's actually pretty good odds. Wait a minute. <laughs> Instead, I sidestep, but let's fuck him up anyway. We're not. I guess. Oh. Okay. Let's fucking... Hey, where do you want to go? You want to go with you? Yeah, well, that's where I was going to send you anyway. Sure it was. Um. Go on, run away. Kick this man's skull in. <clears throat> Oh, stun. Do more than a stun! <laughs> Go on, dog. Oh, come on, No, great. head of Great slipping. Ooh, that was pretty Give it good. to me. Give it to me, Connor. No. Get in there, great slipping. You goddamn hero. Just get pushed back. Right. Right. Out you go, buddy. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> yeah, it I know it looked like the people were kicking them, but uh, they were actually kicking the ground in anger because they love him so much, and then they proceeded to carry him to this. Sub box. Just about picked it up. Have you failed a roll? You failed one sure feat. Yes.
Haha, <laughs> loser. Fucking, yeah. Oh, look at you. Aww, Get fucked, one. sucker. Trash. What a waste of reroll. Goddamn, God. Fucking, bet you wish you had 10. Fat clit. I dare you. Pokemon look real weird. The Switch died, but I did change the game category, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It was fun, though. <coughs> yeah, it's it's barely hanging on, that thing. That's why I didn't play it yesterday, because uh, cause it, wasn't, it wasn't charging. Rise, Spunk Monkler, for that is your curse. Rising? I played Pokemon game in a long, long time. It's a little different, but uh, who doesn't love different? Except, I guess, racists, but. Wow. Don't be like them. What are you saying, wow, for me dissing racists? <laughs> it was just so random. <laughs> Take that, fucker. Might be worth it. Kill him! Yes! Where do you wish to die? Go that way. Follow. Yeah, I believe. Nice, good job. Kick his fucking skull in. <laughs> you know, Omnicron wasn't actually on the Camry team, so he doesn't quite know Truly had a brash skulls in, but uh, it shows. I'm really curious what like end game Arceus is going to look like. Also, if you're wondering, Connor's using a super OP team against mine. And we're still gonna win. Just you watch. in a goopay. Leave him alone. Okay, everyone's back standing. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, just gonna... uh... 
Yeah. Okay. Why do you not roll these? Oh. Capturing a group bill will not be served. Ah, shit. Yeah, take that! Get out of here, fucking pussy! Yeah, take that! You can't. All your level ups don't save you from stunty. You. Good thing I five le path carries. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you only have one. Nope, I have two. You. Okay, you very quickly said five. You changed from five to two. Did I? Yeah? You sure? Pretty, pretty sure. I mean, it's recorded. <clears throat> yeah, I've been coughing myself but it's actually just two I have. Can't have more than two. You can't have more than one. Well, I guess it's team-based, but... Still. Slug! Uh... I don't believe in you. You're not gonna make this. <laughs> What? Slug! <laughs> Slug! No, I'm sorry. You can you can make it. <laughs> you killed him. Slug! Slug! You better regenerate. <laughs> oh my god! You fucking kill him! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you messed it up badly. Jesus, slug, man. <laughs> like, you heard you say, I don't believe you. He was it like, was an oh, injury roll of 10. How, how do I always fail regen against you? <laughs> That was amazing. I did the entire Camry League, only failing one regen in the entirety of it. And then I play you, and I fail like three out of four. Oh, God, I got a... I got a good laugh from that. Holy fuck. What the fuck, slug? Bro. Jesus. I was trying some reverse psychology on you, man. You didn't need to fucking react so harshly. Bronte! <coughs> oh, Hapter, I was gonna go. God damn it. I had plans for you. Come on, do some going for it with that guy. Well, I mean, he has the extra movement and the... Oh, no, not the extra movement, but he has the sheer feet. <clears throat> I can't believe he died. That was that was just poetic. Take him down, Thanks. Spunk Monkler. That was anti poetic. Are you... Are you fucking... Okay, that's fine. His life just flashed before his eyes. He was like, 
All I remember is looking at a lizard and waking up in the side this, isn't, this is Connor's like offline team. This is the one he played against AI. And it's not custom at all. These are all genuine moves I got on the players. <laughs> oh my god. He's and Michael to say Michael to say that he's gonna play Rusky as fuck against them because I don't know. I have no choice. I, but you kinda did. What do you mean? Yes. Oh, my nails are dirty. Oh god. I could just gang everyone around fucking big gay and just just fell him. You can't yeah. kill Val for Brent. He's already died I mean, twice. Well I mean he's only yeah, it is possible. Nah, it's impossible. Look at him. Look at this creature. <laughs> Also, for the again, just to talk about Connor's team, he started with nine rerolls. He had nine. Go on, do some going for it. Goward. All right, Bronte, your turn to fucking die, I guess. Double skulls, let's go, baby. Oh, well, that was almost good. Next time, next turn, it'll be, it'll be pow pow because, because it went skull 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 pow. Now, now I'm owed two pows. So that's a, uh, that's something. <coughs> he also didn't let me uh, inducement. This is like Connor was like, "Hey, do you want to do you want to do like a nice friendly boxing game with me? You know, you want to want to have a little like tussle in the ring?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, Connor." And then he proceeded to pull out a gun, shoot me twice in each leg, tie my hands behind my <laughs> head. Plus. It's three plus. No way. Oh my it's God. fine. And then bring in a gang of eleven fucking like Connor McGregor. Tell <laughs> them to beat the shit out of me. I'm going, Connor, I thought it was a... F I was just playing Arceus, man! And he kind of going, this is, this is, it's a friendly game. I'll take it. He better run from uh from Bronte over there. Left Hatcher in a group A, fully open. <laughs> Where the fuck's he going? So he's going for the touchdown, because I'm going to get that ball off that fucker and <laughs> chuck it downfield. What's this? Who's this? Pfizer Denizer? More like Viper Denizer, because he's about to kill this fuck. <laughs> Murder! So close. I just give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guy got it. Look at that, it took you till half time to score a touchdown. Pitiful. Pitiful team. 
And this is what, like the third best team you got or something? Like the, these guys can't possibly be your best team, right? didn't even come back. Alright, assholes, wake up. <laughs> yeah, I have a Chaos Warrior. Sorry, Nurgle Warrior. That's nice. Um, <laughs> why am I on defense? Because <laughs> I want the best. Did I not have another turn? <laughs> no, oh, I thought I, I thought I had one more turn. Damn it! The the, fe the team on the fence always gets the last turn of the of the half. <laughs> Wait, why? What was your plan? Uh, you know, <laughs> my player has keg. I can just purposely keep the ball away from wherever it's gonna land. I guess we're gonna. Oh wait, I'm on the fucking. <laughs> You're on the fence. Yeah, wait a minute. You mentioned kick, and my brain went. I can, I can deal with kick. Okay, I'm gonna go piss. You come up with a plan. Quick, somebody go to Connor's house and kill his mother. That's gonna really put him in a bad place, and we'll be able to beat him in Blood Bowl. All right. Nobody clip that and send it to the police, because it'll look very bad out of context. <laughs> we're just... we're just fucked. This is just... I'm just getting my ass kicked. Okay, what I missed. Nothing, Connor. Okay, what kind of kickoff event are you gonna get? Of course. <laughs> He's just gone! <laughs> I didn't even get to see him hit the ground. He just backflipped and disappeared. Bronte! You really have to fucking roll two sixes on that? You only needed one over one. You're not gonna get past Starboy Great Slippin'. Spunk. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you know, still not as bad as playing goblins. Half Trinagupe, the giant slayer. May as well re-roll it. You have nine re-rolls. Oh yeah! I, I, I genuinely forgot. 
genuinely forgot that. Yeah, oh. Oh, no. Yeah, get fucked. Get on the grind. Everybody do the dinosaur. Do the dinosaur? Yeah, I think I fucked up the lyrics, but there's a song that's kind of like that. You can do this, Hapcher Nagupe. You're a hero. Everyone loves you. You are loved. Did you not have him go for the giant? Because he's a giant slayer? Uh, no, the giants usually come at him. Uh, hero, Igupe. Hero, Ekupe. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Hero. Where did Goupe go? Did he die? <laughs> no, he's lying there. <clears throat> what? Oh yeah, I see him now. Haha, <laughs> loser. Fucking suck. Oh. Ah, yeah, I don't know once again. Yeah, punk bitch. Damn, I'm getting really fucking unlucky with Homer there. Yeah, you suck. Your team sucks. I hate to have to play uh, with your team, because that sucks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get out of here, punk. Yeah, this time, pussy. No, no, why are you a crazy person? You can't make it other way. <laughs> like... I believe in you, Bronte. Oh. 
Ja. <laughs> Bra grej. He's gonna slap the face for trying. You know, when I loaded up Arceus tonight and started the stream, I didn't think this is where tonight was going to go. Bro, stop rolling ones. Oh, good. I can see if any of my players are going to wake up now. Haha, <laughs> you oh. fucking loser doesn't wake up. What a loot, what a suck. Yeah. Hey, hey you got two tags. Yeah, now I'm on attack. Now you're in trouble. The tide's turn on turn 12. Also, no, someone's gonna get fucking injured at the start of this. I doubt it. Get him back. Bring Spock back. Please refer to his full name. 
bring Spunkerton back. Nope, that's... I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Spunk Mugler. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe fucking Spunk Mugler died. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. Well, at least I learned reverse psychology doesn't work on them. Oh, hey! What the fuck? That's crazy! That's pretty good. Oh, Gret's living, Starboy Gret's living. <clears throat> An unassuming touchdown. Even <laughs> yeah, he's a hero. Oh, okay, I guess we have to go for the center. I have a lot of openings. Yeah, this is a this is just a bad time. Fuck this guy though. <gasps> yeah. Okay, everyone, we gotta go for that game. Not if I have anything to say, do. Yeah, Flick Kleiner, he right. Damn! He rolled exactly two and exactly four. Fuck. He knows his limits. Okay, now we just leave him there and just run up. Yeah. What, what's his name? Fleck Kleiner. Fleck Kleiner? He's a celebrity? Yeah, he can just he can just do it. Is it a thief? What's next? You're gonna fucking dodge with a bloody beast? I swear to God, I go. <laughs> no. Oh, prehand sail tail. That's why it was a 50%, I was wondering. He's gone! Ha ha <sighs> oh man. Shit, so bronty. Alright, grab. Okay, we have quite a fuck. Oh, get fucked, you, you greedy, you greedy bitch. You got spunked. Stomp on his skull. No, oh, okay. Mm. <coughs> okay. I 
think. I swear to God. Don't, don't. Here's the... If I have to move everyone back fucking down the field because you threw the ball, I swear to God. <laughs> I just, I just tell him to fucking that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. We're not gonna let you score. <laughs> Proceeds to get beaten up. Hey, whoa. Then I thought the roll. I honestly thought the rules would be fucking worse than the dodge, but somehow they're not. Yeah, it's right. still only a four and three. Great Sullivan's a hero. All right. Well, that was a fun turn. <laughs> no, I, I, he, he, he tried. That turn we just we just sat around, smoked some pot and went, what if? What if? Oh. Haha <laughs> loser. End turn. Turnover. Because because it's offensive to think someone's ugly. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh come on. Okay. Finally. Well, if you had if you had the rerolls of a of a mortal, uh, you, you would have been fucked. Would I? Yeah, wouldn't have been able would to reroll that. Cause, all right, all right, game. Great. That one fumble. Yeah, oh. I think you can tell how badly a Blood Bowl game is going for me by looking at my seating position. Anytime it's going badly, I, I recline in the seat and slowly go down. As I'm just like, yep, we've just got to get through this. We've got to get through this together. But there's a chance, right? Oh. Yeah, just in case. Rise. Hey, get, uh, get up there, Velfa Brent. Yeah, you do. Yeah, lead you go. Good job, I got that three out of the way. Hero. Alright, Gretz Libin, I need you to roll a... Dare you. The only reason I don't time you out for that is because you used the frog. <laughs> I've been very helpful with the fucking frog the yeah, yesterday. I look at the stats before I end the stream just to see because it gives me like monthly stats. And I think it does anyway. On the emote usage, I'll see it be like 200, 300, 200, 1,000. <laughs> uh, okay, Grat, I need you to roll a 5, a 3, <laughs> not a 1, not a 1. You can do it. I believe. Five. You rolled a one. <laughs> yeah, it's like... He rolled he rolled He rolled a one. He rolled a one. You were like not a one, not a one, he rolled a one. Wanna go against this team again? No. No? No? Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Hey, he's back! Pretty good. Ah. Hey, he's back again! Yeah! Oh my god, he's back again! <laughs> <laughs>
who's back? Uh, one of your Nurgle warriors. You've now three. It's uh, Sturg Gergensen. Sturg Gergensen? Yeah, he's back. His son's a minotaur. The son's a what? A minotaur. Yeah, I know. I kind of had a stroke. Uh, well, he used to be. He's a goat man. He has like eight kids. His son was a minotaur that was on the bashing boys. Uh, the one player to still survive. The rest of them got turned into to goat meat. Um, yeah, this will work. Yeah, yeah, this is this will work. Sure, we will chance that. Why not? That's well, a bit fucking late to give me that. Ah, damn, it went out. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you have two turns, Michael. Think you can do it? Just don't give it to the guy in the back, for fuck's sake. Do not. I tempted to give it to mm -hmm. for Brent. Literally anyone can take it. Oh no, too much time thinking! Okay, well, that was a result, a bit of a panic result, but it's fine. <laughs> what do you mean, none of those? Okay. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> he doesn't have sights. <laughs> Slap and loves. Ah, oh, shit. Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> What's wrong? I should, I don't fuck up your own mason. A little bit. <laughs> Maybe I did, Connor. Maybe I fucking did. <laughs> Can't wait to see those. Go on. What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> I wish I could see your face right now. <laughs> no, you can no, if you go over. If you if you if you jump on over to twitch.tv slash pdtv. <gasps> Oh, Sturg. <laughs> well, I mean, you have three minutes here, man. You have plenty of time to figure this out. Think, think about this. You, you have the guy in the far back, too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I haven't forgotten about Starboy Great Slippin', the hero. No, that wouldn't even... Thank the sir. Thank the sir. Think it through. Think it through. Don't forget. Think it through. I mean, that's better <laughs> odds. No, 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 you crazy son of a bitch. Go there. No, no, no. Calm down. No, <laughs> you go there. Then you go there. And there, okay, Brundy, you fucking understand? Uh, go for it. You do know to dodge. Yeah, but that's fine. Oh, he got it. He got it. Yeah, sixty-seven percent. We never fail those. Um. Now pass it back him. Now, to going for it. On the other hand, those. Oh, we're not reliable in that department. Oh my God, we are. This is, is the comeback. Watch this. Take him down. Power block. Yeah. yeah. Beat his ass. Follow him. Yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Take down the Crocs of Gore. Hero, double pow. Fuck, so close. Oh, 
I okay, wonder. Grab. I'm could, sorry, that's uh, not even grass, Bronte. Oh, I could. I don't know. You want to come at him from from the from closer to my side, so that you can push him towards the touchdown. Because as it is, as it is, he can't make it. But if you push him, no, 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 no. Okay. This is. You, well, either choice is bad for me. Almost had it, Bronte. Almost had it. Hey, look at that. He's totally fine. Oh, yeah. Is that tentacles at a 17 chance of of activating, or he had a 17 chance of, of getting away? Not too sure, to be honest. There's a 17 chance of him getting away. It's about strength. Sam. <laughs> he, Sam woke up and started playing with his little squeaky toy, and then he dropped it off the couch. Oh. He's just looking at it. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, tentacles just activated. I don't know if you can tell. He's just kind of staring at it. Wee -hee! What? That's what you want. Wait, I thought you were seeing And he's down. That's broken. So close. The last button loves. The last button loves. <laughs> what you gotta get to my wee man? <laughs> Kill him. Come on, Bronte. Every single one of my double red dice rolled a skull. Well, Pfizer denies her with the MVP. This is the last of the spare, got it, huh?
You actually had more sex dice rolls than me. <laughs> I rolled 21, you rolled 28. And then with 5 dice, I rolled 7, you rolled 16. You rolled a lot of more dice than me. I rolled a lot of 4s. I rolled 42 4s compared to Jesus. you who rolled 8. I, I only rolled 8. <laughs> Jesus. The fuck was up with the 4s? I failed the one tentacle and I failed fucking boat loaners. Yeah, loser. Fucking loaner team. Um, Everything else is, is not that bad. Only one bonehead. Uh, you, you, you also did pretty good. Yeah, all right, you know, fucking good. Bleh! You know? <laughs> No, a... I did not yeah. sign up for that. That was non-consensual. I mean, you kind of did sign up for that. Uh, you did not give me inducements. That was doo doo poo poo. Uh, kind of forgot about that. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to strike from the record. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that because, although it's not going to be on stream when the league does start. You're going down, little boy. <laughs> well, I mean, didn't my other team beat you? No proof. Yes, there is. We nah, can... there's no proof. There's no proof. Uh, it didn't. It, I don't know what he's talking about. What other team? Connor has other teams. There's no way. The team he's bringing into the league, it's supposed to not be experienced. So what's he talking about? He... Is Connor a corrupt commissioner? Do -do -do. Imagine this is mysterious music and not lo-fi. Does Connor hate women? I mean, I didn't start the rumor, but... I heard it's true. Um... Yeah, that was a weird stream. That stream took a turn. Uh, I'm probably gonna play more Arceus. Fat click! How dare you. Play more Arceus on my own? Let's see what my Twitch is at right now. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just dabble a little bit more. Uh, it's at 20%. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna dabble anymore. Uh, that's a real shame. Um, no stream tomorrow, because I'm going back out to Letter Kenny. Uh, the streams were weird this week, and pretty broken. It's kind of hard for me to, to organize streams right now. Because I'm in and out from Letter Kenny, and I only have like an hour to set up before streams on Friday, so I don't have a lot of time. I might start investing in the YouTube, in the YouTubes, because I can record those out in Letter Kenny and not have to worry about streaming them live and dealing with internet and technical difficulties. I can sort sort stuff there, uh, because for streaming you very much need dual monitor setup, because I need to be able to see the stream, see the chat, and see the game. Whereas if I'm recording stuff I'm gonna start the recording and play the game uh, so I might start doing that just for for you guys for your sake uh, who knows so yeah no idea what's next week maybe more Arceus if the switch decides to actually function properly more Arceus otherwise we might do we might do Pokemon Stadium if we wanted to do that. That'd be a nice chill, long thing to do. I want a series. I want something consistent. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. As always, I'm sorry that it's so disorganized, but it's gonna be like this for the next couple months until I uh, RCS Nuzlocke. That you, I don't know if you saw, but that was the title of the stream um, as a joke as a clickbait like haha I got you title uh, so I did think about that although it wouldn't be that difficult because you catch how well I guess the Nuzlocke part Arceus is all about catching Pokemon so I don't know how that would work but yeah we're gonna be disjointed and all over the place for this last semester of college and hopefully by like June we'll be we'll be better better situated and We'll be gearing up for exciting stuff. I got the cool idea of when I go to S Seattle to do a cider testing tasting stream, like ranking them and testing them because they have so many. 
different types of cider over there. Let me get the picture I took. Look at this. Look at how many different types. It's crazy. So, you know. There's some fun things way out there. Um, it is. It's insane. I don't even need to test them all. I just need to get like 20 of them. And, well, even more than 20. But like... And they're all sold as, sold as cans, so it's not even going to be expensive for me. There's potential. Um, all or nothing? Let me, let me quickly do some math. How much do you think one can costs? Let me count how many cans there are. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen times. Okay, wait, let me get the calculator right. 250, you think 250? 16 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's satisfying. 256 times 2.5. That would be $640. Uh... I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna have 256 different ciders. Jesus, that's a lot of ciders, man. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's that's future talk. We'll get there eventually. Um, only through your support. I appreciate you. Uh. <laughs> there's like two or three good ones. Yeah, there uh there's a lot of different let me let me read the categories. There's semi sweet ciders, more sugar, less wine, wild craft, locust, sweet ciders, dry ciders, semi dry, anthem, ace, jest oh I guess ace and jester and judge are like the brand one of the categories is just called import oh no i thought it was called important it's called imported whatever so you know stay tuned for those uh thanks and enjoy your week because i'm not going to see any of you guys most likely uh so you know hugs and kisses and a little bit of booty grabbing you know just just a little squeeze to make me, you know, to make you know that I know it's there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.